Hello my lovely friends on YouTube, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. In this video, I am gonna be showing you some tips and tricks for playing clad, the Cantankerous Cavalier. Let's do it! The most important part of clad's kit is his passive. Getting Scarlet back will not can mean the difference between getting another kill or dying. To understand how to get Scarlet back, we must understand how courage works. I am justified! And I am armed! Clad will gain 15 courage when basic attacking an enemy champion. He will gain 20 courage whenever a champion that he has damaged dies within 3 seconds. The Q ability, when dismounted, sprays a cone of 5 pellets in the target direction. Each pellet that hits the enemy champion will give Clad 5 courage. So if you Q right in front of the enemy, you can gain 25 courage. If the pellet hits an epic monster, each pellet will give Clad 2.5 courage. So you can get a maximum of 12.5 courage from hitting an epic monster with all 5 pellets. He will gain 4 courage for minion kills, 5 courage when basic attacking a structure or epic monster, and of course you can remount Scarl by recalling back to base. These are all the ways in which you can gain courage so that you can get Scarl back. From these 7 ways of getting courage, we can deduce that the fastest way of remounting Scarl in the early game is using W, auto attacking 5 times, and killing the enemy at melee range. So if you know you're going to dismount, it's better to save your W so that you can remount faster. Sometimes the enemy might not let you kill in front of him so easily, especially if he realizes that you're going to get Scarl back after you use Q. If the enemy seems to know what he is doing, it's better to change the timing of the Q. You can try auto attacking the enemy, Q to cancel the auto attack animation, and because you gain 100 movement speed towards enemy champions when you're dismounted, you can then use this movement speed to catch up to the enemy and continue auto-attacking to get Scarl back. And after you get Titanic Hydra, remounting Scarl will be even faster because you can use it to reset your auto-attack animation so that you can start a new attack on cast. I play with guns. I work with an axe. When clad amounts Scarl, there is a brief moment of untargetability. This is useful for avoiding incoming damage so that it's easier for you to do things like tower diving, avoiding getting bursted down in a teamfight, and avoiding enemies key abilities in a 1v1 situation. Another thing to note is that because of this, no champion can ever one-shot you when you have Scarl no matter how low Scarl's health is. Keep in mind that remounting Scarl will not give you untargetability, but if the situation is something like a turret dive, you can try flashing away so that the damage gets delayed until you remount. You can't take what's mine! Let's talk about Clad's most basic combo, EQ. If you press EQ really fast together, your E will conceal your Q ability so that at the end of your dash, your rope also lands on the enemy. When you're laning, you can use this combo followed by auto attacks to trade and harass. But this has its disadvantages because if the enemy dodges your E, your Q also won't land. So if this happens, you can try the E auto attack Q combo. Compared to the EQ auto attack combo, this combo is a bit slower, but it'll make sure that your Q lands even if your E gets dodged. Another combo you can use is the QE combo. This is good for like say when you want to fight your opponent, but at the same time you want to have an escape or some kind of counterplay ready just in case the enemy jungler wants to gank you. Let's get some new property. Clad's ult is the key way in which Clad engages in a team fight. While ulting, there is no way of stopping the ult with crowd control or displacements, so not only can the ult help you engage, it can also help you avoid damage. 
There are three common ways of using the alt. The first way is to just directly engage to start or respond to a team fight. This is good for situations where you see that the enemy is split pushing or not grouped together. You can also just directly engage when the enemy tries to engage on your ally, not realizing that you're enraged to turn the team fight around. In both cases, it's about playing the numbers game. The second way is to catch someone that's misplaying and mispositioning. The third way is to use alt to get into their backline. There are also some less common but really useful ways to use Clad's alt. You can use your alt to run away kind of like Scion or to avoid crowd control. Let's get him, Scarl! And that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in future videos. Good luck winning!